Hello everybody. It's Mon no Tuesday night. I know what day it is. And it's time to set up Wednesday. So let's take a look at how this is going. Um, still really enjoying these layouts. Um, still not entirely used to the size. Um, I had a PT appointment this afternoon and I had to pull this out as she was making the follow-up appointment. Um, you know, I always I'll reach for my planner and just quickly jot down the time that they give you. Um, and so I pulled this whole thing out and it just, it felt silly to me because I'm just not used to something quite this big. Um, so what I'm actually, I'm using this weekly review page as a place to jot down things that I need to remember. Um, to move back to a different planner just so that everything is self-contained here and then I'll know like anything that needs to move somewhere else at the end of the week will be here. Um, so one of those things is the two library books that I uh, checked out just today because Tuesday we um, go to the library for story time. So I just jot down the names of the books and they are both due on the 30th in three weeks. So this does mean that I'm going to be getting less utility out of this page, but we'll see. Anyway. Um, we are looking at, oh, this uh, marker is on the week, but I actually, I have the red bookmark back here at the notes, but I don't think I'm going to use those even if I need extra note pages. I kind of just don't want to use them up since I'm not going to be in here long term. I feel like I want to save those for some time when I'm going to be in here for longer. So I'm going to put the red marker on my day. So let's see. We had, you know, stuff going on. Um... That didn't happen. I want to get around to another blog post, but I haven't had time. This uh, this evening, when I'm done with this video, is going to be clothes folding time. That needs to happen, because I've got like three baskets full. Um, but I did do this. I prepped a little bit, so I know that like we need to water the topsoil on Thursday. We're going to do, lay down the fertilizer on Friday evening, and then... Saturday is when we get the sod, so we need to water it quite a lot then. And then did I, yeah, I put some notes here, um, because it's going to need to get watered, like, next week in a different planner, so I put that there. All right, so let's set up Wednesday. I'm going to look at my weekly here. I did do my stretches, because she made me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I do need to do this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Packing this maybe. I did this too. Okay. Yeah. I really want to start planning the panels I'm going to go to for Comic Con because that's like the big thing for like prep for that. But. It's not in the app yet, and I just find that using the app is the easiest way to see everything. Um, so we're going to do the packing list tomorrow. I keep checking. Once it's up in the app, it will go on here. All right. I've just been... I kind of like that with the... It's not black, but it's close. Um, that you can kind of highlight the words and they just kind of color the word because it's in red. It's fun, right? Or it's in white and it becomes red. Okay. So that's cool and then we're just going to mark off my hours again at work. Always the same. Though I'm going to leave this completely blank not because I'm not going to be at work but because the lunch hour, my lunch break, oops, oops, my lunch break may be at a different time tomorrow. Let's see. And I wasn't paying attention. 
So, uh, I don't know, what would you have done if you accidentally marked off too much for your work time? I'm just gonna right here, put the back next. Again, not because I need the reminder, but because uh, it blocks off that half hour and that's indicating that I'm not gonna be at work. Also, I need to make sure that on Thursday, I send another check to the babysitter she ended up going to the babysitter an extra week this week or an extra day this week all right so tomorrow we're washing the adult clothes we're eating I think leftovers again we still have a lot of leftovers from the party and then to-do list I don't even know I feel like I'm trying to keep things super yeah okay yeah, I guess still, I want to write a blog post about last week, and it's getting staler and staler as we go, but I will make sure if I get it up to mention it in the video that comes after that. Um, yeah, that's just going to be the only thing here. And then, so today's productivity, well, I think yesterday I put a six, today I'm going to put an eight. I felt much better. Um, I was trying to just, yeah, stay focused. I um, put on like music on my computer instead of on my phone. Like, so I still had the one headphone in. This is the way I find that having something in a headphone keeps me focused and less likely to get distracted. Um, but being able to have it on my computer screen to pause if I needed to pause instead of looking down, which then distracts me to the fact that my phone is there. So. Anyway, I will improve, um, what is that called, like, what is it called, like, isn't this a thing? I, I feel like this is a thing, and then I can't find it whenever I look it up to see if it's a thing. It's like, the, the idea is if you need to do something unpleasant, it's you have to start it is the idea right and then like it's just the unpleasant thing is eating a raw onion or in my case eating any onion anytime but like you just have to bite the bullet and do it am i like completely making this up in my head if this is a thing that anyone else has heard about just like as a, a way of saying get something done like tell me i'm not crazy in the comments below if it's either bite the onion or eat the frog and those things I think I'm conflating they might be two separate things all right let me know anyway the point is tomorrow um I, I think I really there's something at work that I've been putting off that I'm hoping that I can just start working on a lot of times I I feel like self-conscious about doing certain tasks at work that require me to like physically get up and move somewhere or do something that other people can see because I'm like afraid of them I don't know like I don't even know. I just don't like people watching me work. Um, and most of my work is just on a computer, so they can't even tell what I'm doing, so it's fine. But some certain things I just get hang-ups about, and this is one of them. So I'm just going to do it. Unless a whole bunch of stuff comes up. But today I had time to do one of the onions. Tomorrow, hopefully, I can at least get started on the other one. So that's it. Like, it's, it's a lot of space. Um... It's a lot more space than I'm used to like on my normal day per page like say the one from my summer touch that I was recently using it has a time schedule on one side like this and then this side is like a to do list here it's like a whole schedule and my days are not that complex um, but I really am liking I like these sections I like having a main goal section I like having yeah, priorities, you know, three things to focus on. Um, the only thing I would say is, like, sometimes if I have multiple to-do lists in multiple places, like here I have, this is a thing, these are things, this is a thing, and then over here, there's also some to-dos, which I could move over, but I often, I just kind of have to remember that the list is there. Also this. So... So again, this is something I may incorporate in future setups that like 
the point of these, it's something that I'm working on every day. But it's not on the habit tracker. Anyway, uh, the dog just farted, so I need to turn off the camera so I can turn on the fan. That's all for today. Um, and I will see you again tomorrow for the next video. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And keep an eye on that blog, gonchiplans.com, where I will be posting a wrap-up of um, last week's experiment. And uh, so you'll want to check that out and all of the things. There's an Instagram, there's a Twitter, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow, all right? Bye.